Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Magnolia Budgets or if you're new, hello, welcome to my channel. I am so glad to have you here today. We do all things cash stuffing, budget planning, savings challenges, and honestly just all things dealing with money and of course we come here to chat. <laughs> So you guys, today I'm going to be stuffing my Etsy paycheck. It's going to be a quick video. Um, usually when I do these types of videos, it is just like a quick, um, a quick and short video because I, you know, I don't really get paid a whole lot just yet from Etsy. So, and it's most of the time it's a bonus video because I have it set where I can get paid every two weeks. So yes, you guys, I'm super excited for today's video. Before we get started, I want to thank you guys so, 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 so very much for all that you are doing and just supporting my Etsy shop and my YouTube. Of course, I wouldn't be able to stuff my binders with my Etsy paycheck money if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much. I am so thankful and grateful. I feel like it has really picked up the last two weeks here because um, I've been getting a lot of sales and so I'm super thankful and grateful for you guys. Um, if you're interested in going to check out my Etsy shop, it is linked down below in the description box. I have a ton of savings challenges. My paycheck breakdown is on there as well, but it's in black. I need to get the white version uploaded soon. I keep saying that, but I am going to get to it. I've been very busy, you guys, with just working on um, my Julio Dupe planner. I'm pretty much making a um, planner binder similar to Julio, but it is my own planner or binder it's whatever you guys want to use it for that's why I'm saying planner or binder I'm gonna just say binder um I'm making it similar to the Julio's but you know I'm putting my own twist to it because it is my own planner so that's what I have been working on so I've been super busy but I am going to be um working on some more savings challenges and other things to get it uploaded in the shop I already have a few other savings challenges created I just need this to get them uploaded for you guys so I'm just super excited for today's video. It's going to be short and quick. So let's go ahead and count the money. It's supposed to be $60. Pretty much just about everything that I am using here is linked down below in the description box. Um, yeah, just about. Except for this cash tray. My mom purchased this for me. Um, I don't have like my iPad or anything linked down below. But um, the savings challenges are linked. My cash envelope is linked. I need to link this cup because I know a lot of you guys ask about it <laughs> or like it and so I need to link that down below. Um, this is just a regular PVC binder. I think I have this link down below. I'm not 100% sure but I'm going to get everything linked down below as soon as possible you guys. Um, bear with me. So let's go ahead and count this many. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So $60. And pretty much for these like small challenges, I'll bring out this small cash tray. I love it so much. I've been playing around with my Cricut and so I was able to put on there Magnolia Budgets. And so I'm super excited. Well, it's not my Cricut. It's my mom's Cricut actually. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it super good. But I love it so much and I am just trying to play around with the Cricut. Um, and, you know, hopefully bring some more options and items to the shop so that you guys can be able to personalize a few things so I'm hoping to be able to do that I'm probably gonna have to end up buying the um Cricut for my mom <laughs> I don't want to just you know take over it or anything but anyhow let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and go on to the back to taxes which is it's just in this envelope. It just says savings. I got this envelope for free when I purchased this cash money envelope. Um, the Etsy shop owner, I guess, sends out freebies with her orders. And this was one of my freebies. So I'm super thankful and grateful for that because I needed this envelope. So we're going to put in $12. So I just took out 20% of um, the paycheck. So 10, 11, 12. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. I won't even count that. We're just going to go ahead and put that in. I hope you guys had an amazing week. Today is my day off. Um, so I am just able to get a few things done around the house. I haven't gotten anything done yet. But I will <laughs> once I can get done with these videos. I need to get um, Friday's video. So the previous Friday. 
savings challenge up and edited so um that's what i'll be working on today and i'm hoping to get my kitchen den and living room cleaned up my house is honestly just in shambles it's, it's a lot of chaos going on i have a lot of things um sat out i don't know about you guys but my kitchen counters end up being like the collect all or you know just the the spot where you just sit down a whole bunch of things so i need to get my countertops cleaned off i need to get my floor swept and mop put powder down on my carpets and vacuum it up i just need to do some cleaning i feel like i never have time to clean it up you guys so i realized that if i could just break my house up into sections it'll be easier for me to be able to clean and so that's my plan for today i want to you know use my time wisely today on my day off so um five dollars is going into debt i hardly ever get to put money in debt so i really wanted to make sure to put it in here this is kind of like the envelope where i never want to put money in because i don't want to put you know i don't really want to pay off my student loan debt you know so um but i'm doing it slowly but surely we have 20 40 60 85 86 87 and um, once I get to 100, that's when I will be able to mark off another cap. Um, each of my caps are worth $25 each. And this savings challenge is available on my Etsy shop. I'm sorry, you guys, if I sound a little sick. Um, I just, I don't know. <laughs> the weather changes. It goes up and down. And so um, my sinuses, I guess, are just messing with me. So I sound funny today. So, um, my rainbow savings challenge is going to get 10, so two fives. 20, 40, 45, 50, so $50, and we need to color in a rainbow. Let's do blue. But yes, you guys, my throat is also scratchy, so I have my water here. I have my water here because I don't want to be on here coughing so but yes I love this rainbow savings challenge so much because it saves quite a bit of money $320 and I'm just gonna do it slowly you know just whenever I have $10 to put in here and it's just really something to look forward to because this is $320 that I can have on hand in case of an emergency, in case I need to stay out of work, in case something goes wrong with my car. Um, I could put it in my savings account just to build up my savings. Um, you know, I just love this savings challenge so much and it, it's just called Rainbow Savings Challenge so I can make it whatever I want it to be for. If I want to go shopping, you know, if I want to go do spa, you know, <laughs> just whatever. Go to a spa, I probably should say, not go to spa. Alright, so my strawberry savings challenge is going to get five. I'm currently paying myself back, so 25 from all the gardening stuff that I purchased. <laughs> I pretty much spent about $200, so um, I need to do this savings challenge four times, and then I'll be able to um, pay myself back. I'm pretty much done with the garden. I'm not buying any more plants. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five more dollars to put in here and I'll be finished. My popsicle savings challenge is gonna get five dollars as well. This money will probably go into my savings account as well. And so if I finish this around the time where I finish my strawberry savings challenge, I'll put them both together and pay myself back that way. So five dollars for this one. And we're doing red. I want to give me some um, more markers and, you know, coloring, color pencils and crayons and stuff so that I can have some more fun while doing these savings challenges. Um, I know a lot of people are using, like, mild lighters, I think, from Amazon. And I love it so much. Um, but I haven't had a chance to order it. So I think I'm going to order some, um... And also, I was thinking about taking some crayons from work, from the kids, <laughs> and using them because they have the Crayola twistable ones, and they are so cool, and I love them so much because they have so many different colors, and I'm really thinking about bringing it here with me and using it, um, you know, like at the end of the week so that um, I can do my challenges, and then I'll take them back to work, of course, because they love them so much. All right, so we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So each line is worth what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 
So by the time I finish this one, I'll have $50. And this is just a close-up. And this is also on my um as you stop as well. This one and the strawberry savings challenge comes in a bundle. You guys have been loving that savings challenge as well. Um, I have money left over in my Mother's Day savings challenge. Um, and I had saved, I think about, I think I saved, what, $80 in here? I'm not 100% sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So, 70. I saved $70 in this, um, savings challenge, you guys. And I have some money left over. I ended up getting my mom some flowers and this cake from, like, a local, um, two cakes from a local cake shop and then um i also got her a starbucks gift card um and i said that was from me and my niece and then my boyfriend actually went and got her a starbucks gift card too she loves starbucks so and i have this money left over so i'm just gonna move it over to father's day um and i just wanted to show you guys that you do not have to finish your savings challenges as long as you know you have enough to do what you need to do with it or make the money work you don't necessarily have to finish the savings challenges it's okay so i'm going to sit that over there um, and I'm going to come back and fill this one up with another savings challenge. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. But let's add this to Father's Day. And then Father's Day is going to get an additional $3. I have no clue what to get my father for Father's Day. Um, sometimes I get him something and sometimes I don't. One, two, three. It just, you know, depends on how I feel, I guess. <laughs> and I honestly just never know what to get him. Is like, am I the only one like that? So, Father's Day now has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So, 32 dollars. And I definitely know where I'm, which envelope I'm coming to for change because this envelope has a lot of ones. <laughs> so, um, next week for sure I will be trying to come to this envelope for change. I think I said $32. So, let's go back to this envelope here. I have this savings challenge on my Etsy shop. It is the Sunflower Savings Challenge. And it just says focus on the good. And I feel like it is such a good message. It is also a color by number savings challenge. It saves a total of $90. And I love it so, so, so very much. And I'm going to put $20 in this savings challenge today. Um, I had that left over. So, I figured let's start something new. Um, I want to do a little bit of coloring, and um, I thought this would be the perfect savings challenge to do. So I zoomed in for a little bit, and I'm just going to move this out of the way and then put this here so you guys can see. And I think I'm going to color in some pink petals and some purple petals, or I could just do yellow because I have a yellow color pencil. A pink color pencil, but I don't have one, you guys. And I don't know if these markers, these ones, will bleed through or not. So, I don't know. Let's try it and see. And if it doesn't look too good, I'll just turn off another one another day and then redo it. But for now, let's do this. So, first, let's go ahead and work this out. So, I think there's, um, let's see, if I start here, one, two, three, four five six seven so seven twos so that's 14 so um and then i would have to do like what six number ones and i'm there should be six number ones on here so i'm just gonna go ahead and color in all the twos purple so that's what i'm gonna do quickly i'm so excited about this savings challenge because it is so very colorful and i feel like it's just gonna like it's something to brighten up your day i don't know about you guys but when things are like super colorful it really can brighten up my day anyway so i like to you know do things that are very colorful let me get some water i feel a tickle coming on in my throat you guys <laughs> so um i wanted to go ahead and try to get some water before it came upon me and i started coughing on camera anyways 
this one seems like it wants to dry out so it's not really bleeding through and like as far as smearing the black so I'm super excited about that I'm so glad about it um trying to color in all the twos but yeah I could have just did this sunflower you know all yellow or all red or all brown but I said let's do a rainbow let's do a rainbow sunflower um and then it has a wonderful message up here focus on the good so I just I love it so much I also have another one I have many color by numbers on my um Etsy shop I have a Thanksgiving one I have a Christmas um 4th of July which me and my boyfriend are going, is gonna do at the, the beginning of June 1 2 3 4 5 6 so at the beginning of June, me and my boyfriend are, is going to do, um, let me make sure this is the number two. Yeah, we're going to do the 4th of July Savings Challenge color by number and that would just be money that we're going to give my mom because we're going to be having a 4th of July event and she usually goes and, you know, we, she gets the food, fireworks, whatever she needs, that's going to be our part for it, so... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, if I'm not mistaken. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So that's right. I thought I had another pink. I'm going to see if this one is working good. Uh, I wonder if I have another one. I don't think I do. We're just going to wing it and see if it's enough in here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, I'm hoping there's enough, like, ink in this one to be able to color these ones. Um, my niece was actually using this one the other day, and so... She may have used it all up, which I think it was probably drying up already when she was using it. So, um, I don't know. I thought I had another one just like this because I had bought like two sets of these and I I honestly cannot I just colored outside of the lines you guys I honestly cannot find where the other one went but yeah I actually just went and looked too and I just cannot find it one two three so this is my fourth one I'm definitely going to have to go and get me another set of these because I love them so much for my throat is very scratchy you guys it's something about when the like seasons change it just really messes with my allergies anyways I don't know about you guys but I'm trying to hurry up so I don't keep you guys too long I know I can get super chatty but y'all know how I am one two three four five six Six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So this is how she looks now. And I am really loving it so very much. So I'm gonna zoom out now. Okay, so we are back and yes, this is how it is looking so far. I went out the lines a little bit here and hopefully if I can go and get me another set of those markers i'll go back over the pink area but i'm loving it i have one more one here and so yes this is available on my Etsy shop if you love it just as much as i do i cannot wait this is already looking so pretty i should have did it pink and purple the whole thing because that is just so cute and those two are like my one of my favorite colors i guess two of my favorite colors because i guess because they're just so girly you know so um i just love it all right, so let's go ahead and put that in um, into this envelope. So I started a new challenge. I'm super excited about that, you know, and I love that, you know, whenever you're finally, when you finally complete a savings challenge and you're able to, like, start something new, I just love that so much. So, so that is it for today's video, you guys. I really enjoyed sitting here, stuffing my savings challenges and talking with you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends all about my channel. And of course, please, if you get a chance to go check out my Etsy shop. Because I'm sure there's something on there that you will love. And I will catch you guys 
in my next video. All right. Bye.